Atkins' first attempt at live streaming, she didn't expect to be the first in just five minutes. A good body and good looks make her instantly circle a lot of fans. Among them is this fat boy named Loverboy. Loverboy was very timid and introverted as a child, and was often bullied by his female classmates. Even when his pants were pulled down by female classmates, he did not dare to resist. He could only get his pants up and run away when he saw the way the female classmates laughed at him. However, the next day, the girl who bullied Loverboy was riding her bike home, but she always felt that something was wrong around her, so she hurriedly accelerated her riding speed. But the moment she turned her head, Loverboy suddenly stood in front of her. The girl had fallen head over head bleeding, but Loverboy felt it wasn't enough, because he wanted revenge for the girl's insult to him yesterday. He first threw the girl's bike under the bridge, creating the illusion of falling off the bridge. The girl was so frightened that she begged him for mercy, but he only had indifference on his face at that moment. Then a foot kicked the girl directly under the bridge. Although the completion of the revenge made his heart very happy, he never dared touch a girl again. Many years later he grew up and his strange personality remained unchanged. Not socially inclined, he became a network repairman. After work he only liked to hide in a dark room. My only hobby is watching live webcasts. In the virtual world he is the legendary big brother. The salary is basically used to give the female hosts to brush gifts. So the female hosts are scrambling to please him. That day he accidentally swiped Atkins' premiere and was instantly attracted to Atkins' hot body. Atkins would patiently chat with users after the show. He was so gentle and patient that he conquered Loverboy's heart. He swore he would be Atkins' only brother from now on. After the broadcast, he would print Atkins' screenshots. Then he would put the pictures on the wall to admire them. The next day Loverboy was working, but every once in a while, he would peep down the thighs of the woman's white collar. After being seen by the white collar, and she came up to Loverboy with a big smile on her face. She said she could be sexy and flirt, but people in a position like Loverboy are not qualified to watch. Then he spoke pointedly, a humiliation that left Loverboy without a face. He felt that he had completely lost the dignity of man, so he picked up the crowbar in his hand and swung it directly at the woman's head. Female white collar instantly stops bleeding, but in a flash nothing happened. It turned out it was all just his imagination. When he got home, he began to tell Atkins about his ordeal. Atkins' patience made him feel better, and he swiped right up to the gift. However, the live broadcast also caught Matt's attention, and he immediately recognized Atkins as his elementary school classmate. So he approached Atkins and tried to persuade her to give up the job. He said the internet was virtual and he was afraid Atkins would not be able to grasp it, because the water here is too deep. Atkins did not heed the advice in the retort. She thought it was a good job and didn't have to work hard. Just two performances for the camera. You can earn a pretty good income. After the split, Atkins continued her live broadcast. Just as she was chatting with Loverboy, she also casually asked Loverboy how handsome he must be in reality. I didn't expect this comment to make Loverboy serious. He sent his photo via internet technology. I didn't expect Atkins to be stunned for a moment after seeing it, but still praised Loverboy as a warm man. She doesn't want to lose a good customer. Loverboy was thrilled to hear that he was liked by someone. At night Atkins goes out to dinner with his best friend and another anchor sneaks into her room. She was jealous of Atkins for stealing the client. The anchor woman peered into Atkins' computer while she was away. This is how she discovered the true face of Loverboy's brother, so she posted the picture in the hallway of the company and wrote that he was an ugly guy. The next day, Loverboy was watching live when he suddenly saw a picture of himself in the hallway. The words of remorse and humiliation in the picture made him furious, and he thought that was all Atkins was doing. Feeling cheated, he went completely mad and recalled the humiliation he had received as a child. A wave of murderous intent rushed straight to his heart, and after calming down he hacked into the living room and found the address. Then he put on a mannequin mask and prepared to kill everyone on the spot. He followed quietly behind a live crew, avoiding surveillance. He sneaked into the live base, and then he began his killings. First he killed all the people behind the scenes. Then he took the boss's phone, carrying a toolkit to forcefully force Han into the live broadcast area. Before the security guards responded, he also sprayed pepper spray into each other's eyes. Then broke the security guard's neck. Also, I looked at the movement of the anchors on the phone, and then cut off the phone signal here. First, he found a female anchor and began killing her, using a rope to cut her neck. Then found another anchor who was sporting, wrapped his hands and mouth with duct tape. 
then picked up the man and slammed him into the wall. The strong vibrations attracted the attention of the anchor next door. He slowly opened the door and saw a masked man dismembering the man. The anchor turned his head and ran, but was unfortunately caught by Loverboy. Loverboy threw her downstairs. Because this is a live area, the sound insulation is very good. Others have not found the abnormal. He then found the anchor who was steaming in the sauna. He first blocked the door with a crowbar, and then turned the temperature inside to the maximum. As the temperature continued to rise, the anchor, sensing something was wrong, tried to leave, but she found that the door could not be opened, and if she could not escape, she would die from the heat. Fortunately, she smashed the glass with a rock and then smashed the crowbar that blocked the door with precision. Then she rushed into the pool to relieve the heat, but when she got to the pool, she found Loverboy waiting for her. Atkins' attention was finally drawn to the screams. She used her computer to send out a plea for help, but the network had already been cut off by Loverboy. Watch all the other female anchors suffer misfortune and are terrified and overwhelmed. At that moment, she discovered through surveillance that her black sister was sleeping in the room. She rushed into Blackie's room and told him everything. Two people watched Loverboy's surveillance as he was killed, hastily using the cupboard to block the door. But I did not expect Loverboy to be as strong as an ox, but also broke right through the door and rushed in. Then he cornered Atkins against a wall and asked her why she did it. At that moment, the black girl grabbed a stick behind him and knocked him out. Then they picked up the phone on the floor and split up to look for the others. Loverboy, who was not stabbed, soon woke up. The black girl ran to the door and met the bodyguard. The black sister hurriedly told the bodyguard that someone was trying to kill them, but he hadn't finished. Loverboy woke up and came after them. He took advantage of the bodyguard's inattention, directly into the neck with a knife. I did not expect Loverboy's fighting strength to be very high. Then the black girl did not escape and was also killed. Now Atkins is the only one left. She's scrambling to get out. The wall is too high to climb out. Loverboy saw the situation right after them. Atkins desperately struggling. Then she ran back into the house and hid behind the curtain. Breaks a pool cue to use as a weapon. Turn off most cameras with the computer. Leaving only one camera for Loverboy to see. She also wrote down her location on a piece of paper. Invited Loverboy to come and get him. Then she turned off the camera and turned out all the lights. She picked up the night vision camera. Grabbed the broken pool cue and waited on the stairs. Soon Loverboy came after her on the stairs. But he couldn't see anything in the dark. And just as he was about to pull out his cell phone for light, Atkins grabbed the club and stabbed it, but she was still no match for Loverboy. Just as Loverboy was about to choke her to death, she struggled to reach the camera and smashed it against Loverboy's head. While Loverboy was still in shock, she picked up the camera and smashed it against Loverboy's head like crazy. Until Loverboy did not move she would not stop. Atkins was lucky to survive. The internet is great, but it needs to be handled properly, otherwise. It will certainly have negative consequences. Girl House is a suspenseful horror film that centers around a young woman who becomes involved with a webcasting platform called Girl House and sets out on a terrifying quest to stalk and harm the streamers. The film explores themes of voyeurism, online identity, and the dark consequences of living in a hyper-connected world.